nothing's more exciting than grabbing our lovely driver, hitting a ball down the fairway, going straight down the middle. It's a great feeling, isn't it? You just want to give your driver a kiss, don't you? Okay, so you would have seen a video like the, the last two videos that I've done where I've been showing you a particular action. And there was uh, two ladies that I had, Lorraine and Chanel, and they were just slightly hitting the ball out to the right and they didn't, weren't sure why. And we were talking about what we got to do with your left arm and, you know, what you've got to do coming through, not this, and you want to make sure it's straight and all of that sort of stuff. Well, today what I want to show you is I want to show you some progress that we've had simply for your own benefit so that you can actually see what happened before, what's happening now, and that'll help you progress. So don't go anywhere. I'll be with you very shortly. Hey there, it's Hiff, the lady golf teacher and welcome to today's tip. That's right, so what we're gonna do today is I'm actually gonna show you Lorraine's original swing when she was having a problem hitting the ball out to the right. Her and Janelle were having the same issue the same day and uh, where the progress is going because unfortunately Janelle wasn't here but Lorraine uh, was here today practicing uh, at the clinic that I was working on this morning. We were practicing and working on our driver and she was just hitting everything so beautiful and straight and my fingers were crossed that she was going to take that with her out on the golf course. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what happened when she was out on the golf course and we're gonna have a look at the swing, how it was a couple of weeks ago when she was just having that little issue, what was happening for her today and, um, and then we'll, I'll come back and I'll talk to you about it. Hey there, Tiff here. So here we have Lorraine's swing. Now on the left hand side, this was what you saw uh, a few weeks ago. So we'll just go back over it just quickly. So remember, when Lorraine was doing her swing. So make sure we're looking at the one on the left at the moment. So when she came through and hit the ball, remember that the ball came um, off the club, not quite off the center of the club face, and it went out to the right a little bit. And then when she came through, you could see that there was a, you know, a bend in that left arm there, okay? so. I know you've probably had a sneak peek over here on the right hand side to see what she's what, what's going on. So this is just two weeks later actually after um, Lorraine seeing what was going on in her swing. So um, obviously she's been working on it which has been great and we've been spending some time working on, on that. So I uh, brought out the camera again to when she was out playing and this is what you'll see. So as she comes down through the shot here, she makes contact. You can see, just here, you'll be able to see that the um, ball is about to hit the center of the club face. So we see that happen. And then what starts to happen now, you can just see there's the ball just starting to travel forward. Okay, so I'll make sure that that ball's highlighted so you can see it. But here you can see here that the ball's going out to the right you can see the positioning also of Lorraine she's a little bit cramped up through here because that was because of the issue of that left elbow bending but you can see that she's not as cramped up in her body either through here now as she comes through right so the ball continues to travel forward here in uh, Lorraine's swing on the right and the one on the left the ball was traveling out um, to the right of the in towards the trees but so we'll go back to this right hand swing here and as she gets to the top part here of a swing as she comes through have a look here at her left arm how straight is that all right so, so she's gone straight through the ball which has enabled the ball to go nice and straight whereas you can see here there was a breakdown uh, with the left arm she's already bringing her body up out of the out of the shot this one she's been able to maintain herself staying down longer through the shot therefore she's had a better result and you can see with it, through the finish there it's different as well so you can see that her left arm is lovely and straight there 
and then on the left hand side you could see what was happening with that bent left elbow so that's a really really good result and that's um Lorraine actually does that a lot this right handed swing that you see here on the right hand side Lorraine actually does that a lot in practice but at times um uh it doesn't happen every single time that she's out playing when she's teeing off uh, simply because, you know, there's so many other things as you can imagine that you think about when you're doing your swing. So this was a really good one. There was a, just a big click in practice for her that morning and then there was a big click out in the out on the course for her that day as well. So you can see the difference there. So well done, Lorraine. That was absolutely awesome and uh, great work. So what did you think? That was interesting, wasn't it? She did great, didn't she? just by her actually coming through and straightening that left arm through here enabled her to hit the ball straight because you could see it couldn't you it was great so i'll just clarify something for you before i just go back over what we were working on but when you come through even though that she's come through to this point her arms nice and straight you might be thinking okay well what do you do to finish well all you have to do is you just bend your elbows after okay so you just bend your elbows after you've extended through the ball you don't do it during as you like during when you're hitting the ball because if you try and do that the balls will go out to the right the elbow will stick out to the side which we don't want we just want to make sure that we're getting that nice extension okay so i'm just going to go back over it just quickly for you so you can see it again what you want to go and work on and then i'd love it if you could leave a comment down below and share with me what you got out of today's video okay so all we want to do, we're going to just do little half swings, okay? Straight back, straight through. You would have seen another one I talked about as having a nice straight left arm, but we're just going to see it from this angle. So remember, all you want to do is you go straight back, straight through, and hold your position, right? Now you can't see my left elbow, can you? It's not sticking out that way, is it? It was like that, okay? So that's what you want to make sure that you're looking for, all right? Something really, really simple. That was easy, wasn't it? It's really that simple. We don't need to make a golf swing very complex, especially with the driver. You know, it's the longest golf club in the bag. We want to be able to control it so we're hitting nice straight shots all the time. So it's just creating the awareness around what you need to do. So I hope you enjoyed today's tip. Love it if you could leave a comment down below and share with me what you like best about what you saw today. And if you could share these videos with your friends who you know that will get a lot of benefit out of them, that would be absolutely awesome. Because remember, we want to build the lady golf teacher community as big as we possibly can. So in the meantime, tee it high. Let it fly. Have an awesome day. See you soon. Bye-bye.